I, I am personally outraged by the idea that the government comes in and takes someone's car. That bugs me. That's wrong. I think everyone will agree that that's wrong. And, and even if we are going to permit that to happen when somebody is guilty, we want to make sure that the motives for taking it are for public safety. Absolutely. But when you have an innocent owner, someone who's done no wrong, they shouldn't have their property seized by the government. Nor should they have to spend money to defend themselves from the government. It, doesn't, it shouldn't just go to the police. If we're going to take property, we're going to do it lawfully from people who are evil actors and wrongdoers, then the money should go to the general fund. Well, it could because that allows us to use it also for uh, drug court and other Good diversion point. programs that deal with people's addictions. In the Senate, I lobbied a lot of people and the people that I didn't get to, Senator Ivy Soto worked. And as it turns out, uh, Senator Taraco and I have known each other for many years. We practice law uh, in the similar area, collaborated on many cases. And since we've been both in the state Senate, we have adjoining pre uh, districts. And so we look for opportunities to work together. This is a bill that um, was supported by every state senator and every House member, regardless of geography and regardless of party affiliation. It's not a power and control thing. It's the fact that civil forfeiture is wrong. It passed the New Mexico state legislature unanimously, and yet no one is willing to follow the law. That's what it's about. It's not about us as legislators thinking, you have to do what we say. No, forfeiture is wrong. We know it's wrong, and the municipalities have decided they want the money, so they're gonna keep taking and keep taking. That's the bigger problem. Do you agree? I do agree, and I, and I think that, that part of what happened in our legislature is everybody came together recognizing that an injustice was happening at the city level, and we worked together to solve that problem. A key component of this bill was that the uh, proceeds from a criminal forfeiture go to the state general fund. And the idea behind that was to remove from local governments the profit motive of uh, seizing particular properties in order to get the, the, the money from that property for themselves. And I, the other thing that I really want to focus on is my motivation, at least, is not to keep the money from the municipality. My motivation was there are innocent people out there who are having their property taken by a government and there's no recourse for them. To me, it was that individual liberty that I believe we were fighting for in the legislature.